it's post bag time again. Post bag 22. So, first article, what's in here? It's in Chinkanese. A Comet 3K054M. Four meter cable. Why do they go to such expense as poppers on a plastic bag that you're going to take something out of and throw it away? Bit of foam and a cap. Easy way of doing it. And this is and the mating off of that, which is a PL two five nine. And that's what the radio has, what the aerial has, so they should together and then the idea of this is you have thick cable running around the car and then hopefully this little bit this little bit here is enough to go through the door and up to where the antenna will mount that's the idea well having big problems with microphones here so this is me, the voiceover man, and here we see me, the uh, badly opening packet man, trying to uh, tear his way out of a paper bag. But we'll get there in the end. Look, it's coming. We'll get there. Come on, try harder. And here we have it. It's a... come on, get it out. There you go. It's a cable. With two six-pin plugs, one on each end. Same as Ethernet plugs, plugs but only six-pin. There it is. It is a cable for an FTM 100D Yesu VHF UHF radio and allows you to remote the mic further away from the actual body of the radio. Comes as two bits. There's the uh, cable and then there's a female back to back box. So you plug that onto the end of the cable and then you go and find the mic. And any minute now, oh, there it comes and you plug mic into hole. <laughs> and there you have it, job done. And they know our package has arrived. So what's in this one? See that bit? That bit's gone. So, do we zoom in? So, I've had to join the revolution, so I've got a spare. So that will be now coming video. <laughs> Let's see how I get on with them. Well, this is another uh, video with the uh, mic problem. So you've got me talk over man, and here you see box opening man 
using a different method of opening a box, half a side cutter, and uh, you can see it's not having that much effect on it, as uh, you don't know, use the tools what they're made for. Side cutters were not made for opening boxes, but eventually I'll get in there, as you can see, working my way towards it. Here we go. Look, it's it's going to go now any minute, and any minute now, and there's the flap. Yes, and it's open. So we're doing well here. And uh, this is for Rapid Electronics, a UK distributor, and it is a die-cast aluminium box. So I can go to one side, and this was quite an expensive plastic, well, it's an acrylic box. And these are for two up-and-coming projects. This box is going to be used to repair something I got. Uh, this is the exact box that the original manufacturer used for their kit. And so I thought I'd get the exact box. Well, actually, I was just looking for any old box. And I found the box that would fit. And then I noticed that it was exactly the same box they used. So uh, can't get better than that. Anyway, so that's for two projects that are up and coming. And uh, you'll find out later. So what's in this one? Oh, here we go. Not sure if these will show up very well. Yeah, six point three volts, two thousand two hundred microfarads. Well, therefore, uh. A PC motherboard I powered up the other day and it went bang. There's the uh, replacements. I didn't video the capacitors being taken out. I'm not sure if I'll video them going back in. But there's one of them and not sure if you can make it out, but you can probably just see that the uh, top is domed. And I think about five let go. So I'll take them out and uh, we'll just see if I put them in, if the PC will still work. So that's what they're for. And uh, you'll recognize who this is from. We got a brave fight. Oh, still not in. I'll just move that out of the way a minute. Sorry, I just want to move that out of the way while I get the uh, invoice out. And uh, not sure if you can see that. That uh, is my main soldering iron and I'm not sure if you can see but it has a conical tip and this one could not get it to focus as the mouse gone autofocus on this camera is rubbish and as you can see on there it has a conical not conical a uh, chisel tip sorry uh, it's a rtm 010 tip which is one millimeter by 0.3 the reason i like this is it's as simple as that let's go back down again so it's easier to work with as you can see, the tip is just a matter of pulling out, pushing back in, and you can do it while power's on, because obviously that bit don't get hot. And the stand has the positions for spare tips. So I wanted that one for surface mount, and I'm going to get one a bit bigger, but uh, if you look them up, they are 
about 20, 21 pounds plus VAT each. They're not cheap. They should last a long time. That's the plan anyway. So that's what that one is. And these are just six millimeter stainless steel nuts, bolts and washers. And these are stainless steel T-channel nut, T-channel nuts. And hopefully they will screw into there. And the idea of this is that, that uh, my car has a roof rack. The roof rack has T-channels for bolting things to it, like bicycle carriers, things like that. And I'm going to mount some aluminium plates from one rack to one of the bars to the front bar. And on that, I'm going to mount an aerial. It's a big aerial. It's about two meters tall. So it's very whippy, got a bit of weight to it. And I wanted something to secure it very well to the bars. So that's the plan for them so that is today's part of the order see stainless steel nuts and bolts and t-nuts a weller tip new tip for my soldering iron and leather capacitors to repair my pc motherboard I'll add them to the uh, post bag video. It's from Rapid Online or Rapid Electronics. What have we got? Take all the uh, wrapping out, and uh, not a lot in here. Empty box. So, and that. That's for another project, which you'll see shortly. And this is for a project that uh, we'll also see shortly. So, you know, if you like what you see, you know, hit the subscribe button, click on the notification bell, and uh, comment below. You know, please wear the comments out. As they say, the YouTube al algorithm likes you to react and interact. So, please interact away and I'll catch you on the next one.